Yeah, because I'm too cheap to go out there and find an intro track. Hey folks, this is um, Marcus from Rocket Rolls, and um, I just wanted to um, say thank you for taking the time to click the button. I am going to ask that you click that subscribe button. If you like the video, click the like button. If you don't like the video, click the unlike button. I don't don't really care. Um, Well, I do care. I actually would like to get the feedback. Um, Definitely comment down on down below. Um, and let me know what you think about this. I mean, if the ideas are is a wash, then maybe we just don't do it. Yeah, I'm going to continue to do my book reviews. Let me stop lying. Um, but um, this is the second in a series of book reviews. Um, this was the number two book on my um, best books for beginners list. And um, the book that we're going to cover today is called Proficient Motorcycling, um, The Ultimate Guide to Riding Well um, by David L. Huff. I'm going to spend a little more time in this particular book, well now sometimes, to talk about the author. This guy, David, I, I, I mean, and it's pronounced Huff. I wasn't sure in one of my earlier videos, but it is pronounced Huff. Um, he resides in Port Angeles, Washington, and um, he's basically been commuting on motorcycles for, oh, some, I, I would guess it's been about 55 years at this point, um, based on, you know, my calculations. And um, he first wrote this book in the year 2000. So here, you know, it's 2020. This is actually the second edition, which I believe he wrote in um, 2020. Excuse me, 2013. It's 2020 now. And um, the man has over a million miles of um, of commuting and, and riding under his belt. He's, you know, rode all over the, I don't want to say all over the world. I think it is all over the world. But definitely all over the country and definitely a lot of mileage on the road and you know and I think that that's significant because a lot of people they talk about their um, you know we went cross country we you know we rode you know um, you know we rode the Blue Ridge Parkway you know we rode Tale of the Dragon and they build up their little repertoire of riding that they've done and the same people will be extremely nervous when it comes to riding in traffic. They'll be extremely nervous when it comes to riding in the city. Um, extremely nervous in just different conditions that you might find yourself in. Riding in the rain, riding in the snow, riding in the fog, riding at night. Look, David covers all that stuff in here. He talks about it. He talks about it from a statistical standpoint. He um, backs his information up with data. He's um, accessing and resourcing um, some well-known sources, um, and then sometimes some other um, some other sources that you may not be as familiar with. Some, you know, some of the more popular studies and some of the studies that you just might not have been as familiar with. So he covers a lot of things in this book that I think are um, really great to have handy and in one and, and just in your hand. Um, it's a good book to read cover to cover. I've read it twice. It's a good book to refer to on particular topics. Um, I very easily could have made this my number one book that you should read. It is probably one of my favorite books. And he's also an author of not just um, this book, Proficient Motorcycling. He's got a few other books in his repertoire. Um, the Street Rider's Guide, um, The Good Rider. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm cheating, y'all. I'm looking at the screen. Okay. Um, Mastering the Ride. Mastering the Ride is a really good one. We're definitely going to cover that at some point. You do start to see some of the content, you know, recycling itself in, in, in different ways as you read more of his books. But that's nothing wrong with that um, because there's nothing in this book that you don't need to know. There's nothing in this book that you shouldn't have ingrained in your mind is, um, is instinct, basically. And so um, I highly advise people to read Proficient Motorcycling. Um, in terms of the review, he's talking to you, so it's a very natural flow to it. He opens up discussing risk. He opens up, um, then he, he moves into um, motorcycle dynamics. And my next, well, you know, I'm going to shift the order on three and four. My next book is going to do a good job of talking about motorcycle dynamics as well. And we're going to do a review on a motorcycle dynamics book before the month is out. And so um, he talks about cornering tactics. And, you know, a lot of people just really struggle with, with cornering. 
Um, but then I think it gets sweet after this because those things that I talked about, the motorcycle dynamics, the cornering, the risk, a lot of people talk about that. There's a lot of books on the topic. There's a lot of videos on the topic. It's not that uncommon. But then he shifts the gears on us and he goes into the urban traffic survival. And, I, and you know, of course, with Rocket Rolls, you know, we are a urban riding based um, channel. And so we I know I really love this. It talks about the city traffic, the suburban traffic, um, the super slabs, the aggressive drivers, the evasive actions, the surface hazards. Um, you know, all the different traps that are out there. And so um, then he gets into talking about when it rains and, and, and how you ride in the rain. One, how do you handle the bike in the rain? How do you dress for the rain? And um, talks about riding in the heat. It talks about riding in the cold. And these are the things that, you know, a lot of people don't think about when they think about going out and riding motorcycles. But proficient motorcycling addresses these topics. It turns you into a real motorcyclist. And um, that's why I really advise people to check out this book. He will touch on some other topics like, you know, riding two up. He'll talk about riding, um, you know, three wheelers a little bit. A lot of uh, motorcyclists don't take the time to do that. David is an avid three wheeler as well. And um, he's going to talk about, he talks a little bit about sidecars. And he um, also talked about when you're riding and you're really like overloaded on your bike. So there's a lot of different topics on here that, um, are covered in proficient motorcycling and again it's part of the reason why I really advise people to you know read this book as early in your riding career as you can and then even with that follow up by reading the book um, periodically just pull it back out and and just review some of the content in it you'd be amazed at what you see in a book on the second reading or the third reading and you're gonna hear me talk about that a lot with a lot of the books that I bring up um, I'm not one of those people where you got to read the book in two weeks and be done and check it off. Oh, I read it already. No, you study the books. And when you read a book, you really do read the book over the course of a two to three year period. When you know all the content that's in the book and you can actually teach it and train it to somebody else, then you don't need to pick the book up anymore. Um, when you feel like the book is boring you because you already remember what's on the next page, then it's time to start looking for some other content so that you can actually continue to grow and expand your knowledge. But in the, you know, in the short run of things, get the book. Um, it's, I think I mentioned already, it's like 20 bucks on Amazon right now. I think I probably do, will have an affiliate link for this down there. You can use it or not use it, I don't really care. If you go digging around, and you look, you can actually find a used version of this book. I've seen them come out there for eight or nine dollars. I've seen them down there and down there for two dollars. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a lot of great information. But whatever you do, you should get the book. I think I have the hard copy and I have it in the soft copy on the Kindle. I can read this book on my phone. I can read this book on my Kindle. I can read this book from any computer. And um, I actually do enjoy reading Proficient Motorcycling. It is one of my favorite go-to um, books. So definitely check it out. Um, use it and share it. Share the information. If you don't mind, um, I don't, you won't hear me do this a lot, but on this particular book, I'm going to ask, you know, share the link to this video. Um, push it out there to folks so that other people can um, get access to this great resource because I really do truly believe that a lot of these safety based books um, save lives and I think that it really just can't hurt for you to share that information with the riding community. Um, with that, um, Rocket Rolls over and out. Stop. What the heck? Did none of that get recorded? You gotta be kidding. I didn't record any of that. Ain't this some crap. I'm not going back around the block yet. Let me play with this first.